Hi, it's Sarah Berry from stampwithsarah.co.uk. Today I'm showing you a quick Christmas card. This is the last Christmas card I will be showing you for 2018. I'll be using the beautiful baubles uh, stamp set and I'm using this image here. And this is a very special image because it's been designed to um, stamp in a row or in, um, in columns as well. So we can repeat this over and over and over. So that's what I'm gonna do on my card today. The three colours I've got here are Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green, and also Pool Party. And I'm using those because that is the colour theme for the Global Design Project this Monday. So let's begin. I've cut my Poppy Parade cardstock at 20 centimetres. This is normally an A4 sheet, so it comes out a little bit like that. So it's, it's 10 and a half wide by 20. And I like that style of card because I can make my own um, envelopes as well. So I'll be doing that a little bit later on my envelope punch board. I've cut a strip of white cardstock that measures the full width of this card. So it's 20 centimeters by uh, seven. And this is sized for the stamp. This piece is just the inside, like that. And then I've got a strip of green, and then the blue is going to come in uh, into the card with colouring into the baubles. So let's get started. So I like to use my grid paper so I can get my card at, at least straight uh, before I begin. And then I'm using the Memento Black because I want nice, strong colour for my baubles. Um, and then I can also use this ink um, ink pad because I'm using the blends. The blends are the alcohol markers. Now I'm going to stamp um, in the middle. And I'm going to have the um, tops of these baubles, so the thread that they're on, just peeking over the top of this white uh, cardstock. Okay. And then you just go again, so you just ink it up. And then move over to the right. And can you see how these baubles just fit in between those stars? It's very clever. Just a couple more. Now this stamp set is from the Autumn Winter Catalogue and it will be disappearing uh, when the, or the Spring Summer Catalogue comes out on the 3rd of June. So if this is a stamp set that you like then you'll want to get your hands on, on that fairly soon. There's also dies that go with it as well so check out those. There we go. I like it. So we can quickly add some colour to this with our blends. I'm not going to do all of the baubles, I'm going to leave some of them white. So I'm just going to do the majority of the, um, the majority of them, but not all of them. But see how easy they are to colour. Just using the brush tip of this blend. And I think I'll do this one. Oops, nearly got the wrong bauble. And there's a little bit poking there. Right, so I'm going to go on to the green. So that pool party is dark. Dark pool party pen. And now I've got dark granny apple green. So I thought this was really nice for uh, this bauble. I love these Christmassy colours. OK, 
Okay, so I've just grabbed my Poppy Parade blend because I thought it needed a li little bit of red. And then I've got the three colours in these baubles. So the brush tip has a very fine point and it doesn't need a lot of pressure. You literally just sweep it across, hardly really pressing down on the, the cardstock at all. Just to protect that tip, really. The other end just needs a bit of a firmer press. It can take a bit more, a um, bit of a firmer press on that, that bullet tip. And there we go. I will just swap and I'm just going to colour this one. Well, I said I wasn't going to colour them all, but I do feel that they need, um, that one looks a bit lost now, it looks like he's on his own, so I will colour this so it matches this smaller one. It's a great set for, for those of you that enjoy colouring. Okay, we're just about there really. So that's going to get stuck down onto my card, but before I do that, I've cut a strip of the Granny Apple Green and I've also got my um, decorative punch, and this is a border punch. I'm going to just work out where the middle is. Where's the middle? 10, just mark with my finger now there. So I'm gonna pop that To the middle so the middle I can just you won't be able to see it on the camera but I've just put that mark there in the center of the pattern and made sure that this card is right at the back of the punch so it's laying as far back as possible all right and all these little bits come out now that's the important bit to get it centered and then what you do is you take this pattern across a little bit and line it up with the picture and you just keep going along Now the other side. Oops, I've missed one, but that's okay. You can start to line up the pattern either side now. And one last go, I think. There we go, look at that. Isn't that nice? So that's going to get stuck at the back. Let's just sweep all this off the table. Okay, so I'm using my snail. So that's just a adhesive double-sided tape. So all the waste is collected in the back end of this snail there. And I'm going to, let's see, what shall we have? That. Or that, I think. Oh, it's great. I love it. Okay, so let's stick it onto the card. I'm just going to use my snail. Like that. 
and now we just need to finish it off with a greeting and there's some greetings in here Merry Christmas and Happy New Year that's the one we're going to use um, and there's also Deck the Halls which is quite good Just take my scissors uh, and do like a little fishtail. There. Now let's get some. I think that might be a little bit pointy. Let's try again. That's better. Okay. So the waist on the mini dimensionals is really great. Nice and chunky. So I'm going to put a nice bit on there. And now just to finish, just to give it a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to add some colour. And let's just position this. Pop it there. Not colour. I'm going to add some Wink of Stella to this. Um, let's just take that. This bit. Now I'm going to add some Wink of Stella just to these blue ones. And then when you hold it up to the light, it will shimmer. Just a little bit of detail and you can't really see when you're doing it you can't really see that you're doing much to the card but then when you open when you hold it up to the light it will shine i don't know if i can catch it in a little bit so there we go there's one card and now just to finish i've got some of these adhesive backed sequins which i'm desperately running out of and i've added some color with my blend pen. So these were the pink ones and now they are red or the poppy parade. So I'm just going to add some some to here. Mm. She says on there. So there we go, I hope you like my card today. I'm just going to glue in the insert and then this will go off to a very special person. I thought um, it'd be nice to get out this stamp. I'll just do a little bit of detail inside and maybe just add a little bit of color to that as well. Love it. So thanks for watching my uh, video today. I'll see you again next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.